I don't want to cause Inter any problems, though. Like, um, <laughs> and I have said already, I like the AC Milan as well, and we shouldn't forget Juve. And um, I know Napoli lost now a decisive game, but it doesn't mean they're out of the race. So um, I have no idea who will be Italian champion. Um, to become champion in whichever country, you need to have quality. All these teams have quality, and on the other hand, on the other side, you need to be lucky as well with injuries. And I'm not sure about Inter tonight, what happened to De Free and, and Brozovic. Uh, they are for sure very important players for Inter. Um, and that's why I say you need to be lucky as well. So I will follow and um, who will, will make the race. But it's not my first thing what I really think about. Both teams really good. Um, different setup, um, I think. Um, I was said after the, the, the games against Milan, I really like the project there, this kind of mix with young players and all these kind of things, um, like um, how, how they approach the games, um, the way they play. Um, Inter is probably more experienced, huh? so um, and it has obviously a different setup. It's this man marking, which is really tough to play against. Um, they. Um, I can imagine when an opponent sits deep, then it might be more difficult for them. But in general, the quality um, both teams have is really exceptional. And um, I don't think if anybody talks about uh, the quality of Italian football, nobody talks about the top four or five we faced at Atalanta. Um, and they gave us a proper game here at Anfield as well. It was really difficult. Um, you were, yeah, we don't have to talk about yeah, and then Napoli. We played quite a lot against Napoli, to be honest. Um, so we are obviously Italian experts, and um, yeah, it's. Let me say like this: um, if you get an Italian team in the draw, it's not that you start a party immediately. You think, oh God, that's hard work, and it was hard work. But also, get your view on the setting off, Jurgen, as well, because clearly Sanchez has played the ball, but also clearly. There's contact with the follow-through, but obviously it endangers an opponent. I don't understand why we have to why we have to discuss that um, because in football, uh, uh, yeah, if you played football, if you can win the ball only if you bring yourself in a position that you endanger the opponent, then you don't win the ball. So that's it. If Fab goes in in a bit the same intention, like with a long leg, then both players get injured. But Fab is there because he judges the ball. If he is not flying in. Then I will get it, um, but because Andre is flying in, and he touched the ball before, and that that's possible. But in the end, he cannot stop and and hit Fab in a really bad way, to be honest. And I, I think he was quite lucky that he didn't get a different color in the first half. And uh, foul on Thiago, uh, leg that high against the knee, similar situation. Yeah, it's passion is good, absolutely good, but. Um, if it leads to these kind of things, it just doesn't help. 